The fourth high-level conference on strengthening international counterterrorism cooperation and building agile border security mechanisms, the Kuwait phase of the Dushanbe process concluded in Kuwait City today. Yes, and uh, the event, uh, of course, was uh, organized by the state of Kuwait, uh, the Republic of Tajikistan, and the UN Office of Counterterrorism. Here's more. Under the patronage of His Highness the Emir, Sheikh Mish'al Ahmed al Jabir Sabah, may Allah protect and bless him, the second session of the conference, enhancing international cooperation in combating terrorism and building flexible border security mechanisms. Kuwait phase of the Dushnab process was held today. Representing His Highness the Emir, His Highness the Crown Prince Sheikh Sabah Khalid al Hamid al Sabah, may Allah protect him, stressed in the opening speech that the state of Kuwait's hosting of the conference represents its firm commitment to work with many parties to confront the emerging and new challenges of terrorism, which is considered a fundamental peril. Today, the members discussed border security and the mechanisms for employing up to the minute technology to ensure its security and safety from any breaches. Accordingly, a representative from the Kuwaiti Ministry of Defense presented the mechanisms for preserving border security and the specific strategies and conducts of cooperation with both Saudi Arabia and Iraq. As part of today's discussions, the concept of porous borders was raised and what are the most important challenges facing countries and the advantages and disadvantages of establishing civil societies around border points which would increase the chances of terrorist groups and organized crimes being concentrated there. The discussion also included how modern technology and behavioral science can enable border and individual security, improve regional and international cooperation, and the most important practices followed by parties concerned for cross-border cooperation and information sharing in addition to the role of the United Nations Office for Counterterrorism in managing and enforcing relative laws. By the end of the day, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, His Excellency Abdullah Lihaya, will chair the final session to present the final conclusion and the final communique, Kuwait Declaration on Border Security and Management. Kuwait Declaration on Border Security and Management will reflect the discussions, opinions and viewpoints of the participants and will serve as a guiding chart to combat terrorism and building capacity in the field of border security internationally. Terrorism in all its forms is rejected by the international community and working together is the only way to defeat it. I'm Maryam Nudwehi for Kuwait News.